Welcome to Peg Warmers. I'm Kevin. I'm Penelope. I'm Justin. And we're here to talk about toys. Thanks for coming back, guys. Thank you for having us, Kevin. We love being on the show. It, it's always a blast every time you guys I are here. I feel at home here. Like, this is basically what our house looks like, so, like, I feel really at home. <laughs> it's hard to keep us away. It is definitely <laughs> tough to keep you guys away, but that's great. <laughs> we love that you're so willing to come out because yeah. it's it's... It's a hike, you know. It's not like it's not like you guys are right next door. Uh, well, it like so it's nice. It's a couple hours yeah. in our but beat up pickup it's truck. It's fun. We make it an event. Well, that's good. Yeah. yeah, we look forward to it. You yes, know, it's not. It's, we're never like, oh god, oh god, we have to go Pegworms. again. Right. And not talk Kevin. About stuff. No, we always. Oh. We, it's always enjoyable. Yeah, and you know, the conversations. We do these conversations every day. Right. Yeah. So to be able to like kind of share the conversations yes. to get out there in yes. the world, you know, we, include more people. Than we like that people. Yeah. Enjoy this. Yes. It's, no, and it's it's great. We always get so many pos- positive comments and stuff, and you guys are so great about even responding to them too. You know, like <laughs> yeah, we're pretty active in yeah. there, which is you know, I, 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 you have to appreciate the fact yes. that even, yeah. I, even if three people watch it, yeah, you have to appreciate those hear people. Us talk. So. It's yeah. like all right, cool. You've cultivated a great channel here. No, we're, I we're very it. proud of, yeah, yeah. of this. It's very appreciate cool. We're yeah. proud of what you did. All right, so our news segment today. I am very excited about this. Sergeant Slaughter has teamed up with Hasbro again. Yes. He's back on G.I. Joe. I didn't see it coming. No. I didn't did think it anybody, would ever happen again. Did anybody see this coming? No. No, because... I have no idea. Because he signed with, with Bobby Valla, right? Yeah. And they, they were doing... Uh, Valaverse was doing their own Sergeant Slaughter. If you're not super uh, aware of that, Valor, Bobby Valla worked for Hasbro years ago. He now has his own toy company and is making a... Action a, Force. It's called Action Force, yeah. which is the... An action brand very similar to G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe adjacent. Yes. Yeah. That's a great Without infringing on anyone's copyrights right. or intellectual right. it's, it's actually property. amazing that he got the Action Force name. Name. Because that's is. the British name Correct. for what kind of became G.I. Joe I there. I guess in the United States, that's not a copyright. I Who knows? I don't yeah. know any of the, yeah, the I, le- uh, legalese yeah. behind it. No. But, <laughs> but So I, I figured, okay. Those are the Slarge and Slarge that are coming out, other than some excellent customs that were out there. Right. For, and we're talking about six-inch classified, yeah. right, specifically right now. Um, people were doing some amazing customs, and then the Valiverse was doing theirs. So I didn't think that Hasbro was even interested in Slaughter's likeness. I wasn't even sure whether he could um, give his likeness to a company that wasn't making wrestling toys, too, because there have been many times where his likeness has been tied yes. into that. I don't know yeah, if, if so WWE strange. still owns the, the name, Sergeant Slaughter. Ooh, there's yeah. so much, be- there's yeah. so much he, behind does it. Does he own his own name? There's, it's not, right. It's yeah. not like a, per, uh, it's not like right. a person. He's Robert Remus, and he plays Correct. Sergeant Slaughter, which is a character yeah. yes. created for wrestling and also licensed to G.I. Joe. So it's a very complicated it matter. Is. Um, but it's awesome. So no one saw it coming. I no. don't think. And the figure is awesome. Well, it's a prototype. Um, it well, looks great. What we've seen it's so far. Based on version two. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully, it's um, it's a little bit bigger. Like maybe some maybe using the roadblock buck. I hope. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's got to be bigger because honestly, the the Valiverse one is a little bit smaller. I think. Um, but still, it was great for what it was. But I have to say. After that came out, I um I saw that uh, Bobby Valla released like a press release, okay, and he was totally classy about it. He wasn't like, "Oh, this sucks," you know, they're going to be competing with me. He was like, "Look at this, yeah, mm-hmm. check good it out. for good for Robert Remus, yeah." Uh, there's so many Sergeant Slaughter's out on the market and coming out on the market right now. It's like a new rebirth. It was very yeah. cool for him it's to a write renaissance. that. A so renaissance. So with them doing version two, which is the triple T version, black shirt. Camo pants. It's actually the version I prefer. Yeah. It's a good it's, look. It's a good look. Yep. It gives them the perfect mold to do Slaughter's Marauders. Yep. And we already have a spirit. We already have barbecue. So, like, they're they're right there if they want to do another one of these retail exclusives. Like, Tiger Force and Python Patrol have been Target. They seem like they're into the team aspect yes. of things. So, they're- it's perfect for that. I would love version three, though. The Warthog Driver. Oh, really? For some reason, yep. that one as a kid just was so... Like in the battlefield, he's got the bandolier. Yeah. I was gonna say that's the bandolier. And yeah. The removable yeah. hat was super cool as a kid. Yeah, uh, he's got the gloves with the fingertips cut off. I, it's yeah, just he something was the only one that with one. a removable hat, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah. that's wow. right. But I love that particular figure, and the Warthog was a cool vehicle. Super cool. So yeah. I would love it if they did that one eventually, and I'm hoping if they've gone to the trouble of locking down Sergeant Slaughter that they're gonna it's, give us a lot yeah. of versions. It's almost it. guaranteed. I mean, listen. And the more they can do repaints, yes. Oh, the Slaughter Marauders, I think, is guaranteed. Yes, and maybe, and maybe even um, I don't know if they're still doing SDCC exclusives, but there might certainly be some sort of exclusive 
uh, mail away version with the the stripes and all that right, stuff. Right, right. Because they did that with the three and three quarter with twenty fifth. Any, yep. but both of those slaughters were um, SDCC exclusive for twenty fifth. So I, I'm excited to see what's down the line. I'm locked into to uh classified yeah i'm not a six inch guy i love you actually like watched... sold your collection and then was like nope i want it back and started buying it yes I, I had a complete collection and sold it and then bought it all back yeah but um <laughs> your uh the peg warmers classified you've touched on it multiple times yeah we've done two episodes on it and those episodes are gangbusters yeah. like everybody yeah. watches that that shows how um how popular yeah. I mean, G.I. Joe is. So yes. they have done, was that Snake Eyes, that one Snake Eyes set, was that an STCC exclusive? No. So uh, they Oh, the done first any... set I think was, was a Hasbro Pulse. Pulse exclusive. Hasbro yeah. so the they Deluxe and the Black So they haven't Pulse. done an STCC exclusive classified figure yet? Not yet. No. Okay, I didn't think so. All right. No. I guess we'll see. There hasn't, because of, I think, COVID COVID's and... Been yeah, weird. there hasn't yeah. been STCC <laughs> No, there hasn't been much. Uh, as, by by way, we're usually... Every year, where there's usually a few exclusives, like, oh, I have to get those. Right. Uh, it hasn't been like that, because yeah. the con hasn't really been a thing. And so. with Pulse, they have a easy way. Even if they were planning on it being a con exclusive, yep. they have an easy ve- avenue to just yes. sell it on their own anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I, I, don't pay for, cool. I don't pay for Pulse, though. Hmm. Okay. I don't want to pay for the right stress about it. to yeah. just... Oh, I get to be. Fr- I get to. Yeah, I don't... I, I'm paying you to actually be able to order something from you. I only order from Pulse... What's available to the general public? Yeah, yeah. same. Yep. Um, so n- new to the collection. Oh yeah. I got married. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. I have a wife. What? She came with two accessories. My stepson's. <laughs> it's amazing. <a> package. <laughs> it's a package deal. That is a great <laughs> box set. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. I wanna, Thank I wanna, you. Is this the first time we've talked about it on? Yes, Wars? first time. This is the I first wanna, episode we filmed awesome. since the wedding. Well, Congratulations. we get to be the first to yeah. congratulate you. Thank you very much. That's that really was very cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's very exciting. Came with she, accessories. She tolerates <laughs> toys. She's not a collector. Uh, Does she but collect okay. anything? Maybe not toys. She, is collect she collects animals. animals. She collects animals. She oh. has two dogs, two cats. Uh, it might be more expensive than toys. Yeah, a, a bearded <laughs> dragon, and we have we have five hermit crabs also. Okay, right. I want to I want to say that it may be it may be a blessing that she doesn't mm-hmm. collect because when Excuse you are me? able to enable each other oh, the yes. way we do, you end up with. A toy store, yeah, right, You're, and right. a house full of stuff, and a warehouse. It's full your, of stuff. it takes over. It's your life. Yeah. It, it really is, yeah. because it's something you both share. It really is so easily takes over both of your lives that it's it. It might. I don't know. I can't speak for this, but it might be nice to have somebody temper you. Uh, I don't like, like to Kevin. Be tempered. You really don't need three <laughs> Sergeant Slaughters. Yeah, we don't. I mean, I'll say that after like the third or fourth. Like, I'll be like, "You really need all of those," and yeah. you'll just be like, "She says yes. about everything." Actually, no. We, well, you could be like, you really don't need seven hermit crabs. <laughs> <laughs> we sometimes have a problem where we we like, oh, is that yours? Is it mine? Is it ours? It's all ours now. It's no, well, some of the stuff. It's mine. all ours. We've now. talked about that. It's before. all ours. Congratulations, Kevin. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do you have Good something you. new to your collection? Uh, our collection, uh, we've actually, yeah, we we just recently got. Um, so to me, there hasn't been a uh, definitive. Because we're talking about books, reference books today, right? Yes. Yeah. There hasn't been a definitive He-Man book. He-Man's been tough, and and honestly, I mean, the internet has been a great source of reference material. But He-Man.org, which where we used to go, is gone now. It's still there, but you can't. Fr- Maybe it's just me, but I can't access any of like the collecting stuff and look at all the toys. It's all oh, really. Just I'm wondering um, <laughs> if what happened to Yo Jo happened to that, where um, an outside. Um, buyer buys the site because the site gets so many hits yeah. and they don't update it they don't do anything with it they just buy it because of the hits it's been a while and, since and put I've advertising on it I think Val still has it the guy that runs PowerCon oh know. really I'm gonna look uh, white sure. we're live oh, you here. check so the anyway last time I checked we, I couldn't see we, anything we went and bought before I knew about a book you're gonna yes. we're gonna talk about we went and bought the Masters Universe uh, Vintage Toys Reference Guides from Zach Papadelius forgive me if I pronounced that wrong um, and you know, a friend of ours said, get this book. It is all the information you need. And and we got it. And boy, is it information. Like, it's pages and pages. It's a lot of text. It's a it's it's actually to me too much. Okay. As a as a dealer and reseller, we don't need to know specifically um the different languages the mini comics were printed I in. I mean, I like to know that information. It's great. But like the most important thing I want to see is the figure, and I want to see its accessories clearly. D- uh, that's Cyclone. Just, yeah, it's just me. Distribution, country, and release date. I mean, that's fantastic. Argentina, Canada, France, Germany. It is. 
Yeah, that's that's you. You Minutia. have to be on a different level of collecting, correct? For yeah. that to be interesting. For doing what we do, if we're not experts, we're not expert in any toy line. Every day we're learning something new. Right. So doing what we need to, we need a quick reference that really shows us good pictures mm-hmm. and the accessories, which mm-hmm. is totally the most important part, really, right? Like it right. really is because right because we mean, know what the guy looks like. Yeah. But what's his why stuff else do we like? need right. a book like this if it's not going to go into detail about? So what the one it thing I think with. this book is lacking, where where. It, it picks up for in massive amounts of information. There's so much info. The only picture you get in this book, and we'll do a close up later. You get like the only one picture you get shot. in this book is one single shot of the character, like holding their accessory, yeah. which is not a great shot of the accessory sometimes because the angle's weird. Yeah, I know right. in the case of like Man at Arms, it's like a front shot and you can't really see his club. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So you, to me, you want to be able to see the accessories. Really be able to tell if you have a, re- a, a repro or yeah. some sort of knockoff. You know, you want to see a good or if detailed it's damaged, picture. Yeah. Correct. You know. Yeah. Or if it's the wrong color. Anything like that. Yeah. So as far as a quick picture reference guide, this isn't a great book for that. It's a great book if you want to know. If you're trying to collect international. Yes. Or you want to know how many versions of He-Man were made internationally and what years they came out. Like that. There's a lot of information. I think... The Pixel Dan book is the book I needed to get. I think the Pixel Dan book is the book you needed to get. Do you want to check this it's out? It so is so nice. big. It's like the Bible. Oh, it's, it's huge. So it's amazing. Look at that thing. It's, it's dude, literally hard cover. Massive. It's beautiful. That is a gorgeous book. And he gets into um, just looking at the pictures. It's not just G one. He. It's not just G one. That's it's He Man. It's New Adventures. It's Princess of Power. It's 2000X. It's Motu Classics. Is I guess is He Man his cover. thing? He Man, He Man, Ninja Turtles are Dan's things. Yeah, but yeah, He Man's probably his number one. Wow, this is a serious it's huge. book. This is a. I can't wait to thumb through it. We need to order one. It's beautiful. It's so yeah. Nice. If you if you don't have it and you're a He Man fan, you got to get it. They, but this is what I'm talking the about. The detail yes. they went into. They have the toy. They have turnarounds of the toy. They have the accessories. They have it in package, and they also have a little like insert. picture frame insert that shows like how the features work. Yeah, that's fantastic. So as a reference guide, this is exactly what you need yes. for quick reference. If you're buying a collection, or you want to make sure that your, um, wow. your you know your accessories are correct. Yeah, uh, this is what you want. Look, it has pictures of all the way around front side. I mean, that's mm-hmm. wow. Yeah. Great book. No, what's funny is, I mean, there's not enough room. You could combine these two. Yeah. And you never need to know anything more about He-Man. <laughs> right, right. Ever. You're good. You're good. Uh, what, a, what a book. We have to order that soon. That and is listen, fantastic. as far as I know, Pixel Dan does not, uh, <laughs> he is not giving us payola. <laughs> we're going to talk about a lot of different authors. Yes, here, we're right going to talk about a lot of yeah. people. But this right here, he beat a lot of guys to the punch. No pun intended. Yes. But it's a pretty big deal that he got that officially published because there are a lot of unofficial guides yeah um but like mattel backing that and it being published by dark horse um that, that was a pretty big deal uh, i was deal. very excited for dan when he was able to it's to line that up a lot of times the toy companies book. don't do right. that right. you know um, and it, it creates a lot of extra work in some ways they want to you know i have don't a lot of think input. um you know mark beloma we're gonna obviously yeah. j- fall on the beloma because he's he has become the the toy guide guy. Yeah. Right. The gold standard. As far as, as far as like what we consider. Yeah, specifically what we um, do. He hasn't gotten a chance to do this, so I don't, I don't even think he should now. I don't, you know. Yeah, I don't. I'd like to see what I'm he puts sure together. There, there I would remember be, talking it's to necessary. him. I remember yeah. talking to but, him years ago about doing a book, and he said that at the time there was no interest. His publisher was not interested because there was nothing to support it. Yeah, like, that's a big thing. A lot of no these books, movies, it has not the comic. movie years. Yeah. There was no toy line at the time, yeah. so there was nothing to support it. Uh, I don't. Remember seeing Hasbro backing any of Mark's Star Wars GI Joe? Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, which is a shame. Mm-hmm. Um, what's happened with the toy industry with vintage toys? I mean, everything has gone skyrocketed, right? There's yeah. so much interest. Everything has gone. Um, everything is worth more, and that has happened with the reference guides as well. Which is kind of an odd thing in a day <laughs> it, in the day yeah. of the internet, where supposedly all the information's at your fingertips. The books oftentimes are better than the internet in certain weird ways. Now, the internet does get updated. Yeah. So, because sometimes there's a mistake in a book, but like you have with yojo.com. The books the greatest, themselves are collectible. Yeah. yeah. I was just going to say that. But yeah. like yojo was like the greatest G.I. Joe reference ever. And now, like you were saying, it's not updated. So, it's now worthless as Shame. links break and things just don't work anymore. They put a lot of work into that page. Yeah. They were updating pictures if you go yep. look. I mean, um, 3D Joe's is really good too. 3D Joe's is amazing. Um, and and the, it's it's such a different take on things yes. where you can see the spin around. But I mean, Yojo was before that, and mm. Yojo was like probably the first reference 
Because Joe, yeah, I started with GI Joe. Yeah. So the the funniest thing with with Yo Joe, like I remember when it formed, there were actually three different websites. There was a guy who had a file card website. There was a guy who had pictures of the figures and a guy who had a comic book archive. And the three of them combined sites to make Yo Joe. What a shame that, that awesome. it's not still an active, it's, thriving. Yeah. It's such a shame. It was such it a is. great website. So as far as he man.org goes, when you go, when I go to the main page, it takes me right to the forums. Okay. And when I try to click anything along the top, it just opens up like a blank page. So the information might still be on there, but his links are busted. Weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, there used to be a fantastic database. Yeah, it is fantastic. That, and literally when I click on it, it just takes me right back to the forum page again because mm. it's like a broken That's link. That's interesting. I I haven't looked in a long time. So hopefully so it's still there somewhere. The we'll internet has back. killed media for you know, yeah, handheld media for the most part. But I think this stuff, because we're collectors mm -hmm. at heart, these are actually collectible. Yeah. Look at you. You have all three <laughs> <Yeah>. versions <laughs> of the G.I. Joe, but Belomo's G.I. Joe book. Right. The There's number one right the there. One and only right I there. can go through that and find little the, my, things he forgot to picture. Oh, my buddy Paul and he and knows I, too. You used to just call pick. this the Joe book. Yes. Like, we would just be like, you have your, where's your, where's your Joe book? And it's not the first Joe book. No. Oh, there was, there's a book. We have one around somewhere. here I somewhere. Have the, I have the yep. complete encyclopedia. Right, and that has 90s 12 inch. <laughs> on the cover. It's a complete <laughs> encyclopedia. On the cover. Yeah. Show the folks at home the beautiful cover there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it's um, like black and white, which is so disappointing. I love that. Yeah, it's such a colorful toy line. Right here. You need the colors. I thought there was a red covered Joe book. I, I may don't... not have brought it. We have at the store right behind the counter, we have two entire shelves full of these books. Okay. I didn't bring all of them because it would have, <laughs> <They're> <laughs> we so would have broken our backs. Yeah, they're not them. light. That's for sure. Um, I just brought like, you know, like the top shelf, not the bottom shelf. There's right. there's even like a little like so field stuff. guide to G.I. Joe that yeah. has, starts with 12 inch, but then has the, the three. Did Mark write that one? Because I know he wrote a bunch of the field guides. Like he did a lunchbox I field don't guide, think I think? that I don't one's think by so. Mark. That was pretty pre, pre Mark. Yeah. yeah I, think uh, so. I mean, G.I. Joe's been around so long that, even in the 80s when the 60s stuff was collectible, there were probably 60s guides. Yeah. Yeah. But they were, guides have changed. Mm -hmm. You know, they used to be these little black and white they used to be or like, or like little pamphlets. Yeah, or the little pocketbooks so that when you're out like at Remember an estate sale. There you go. That's the red covered one. There you That's go. what I'm talking okay. about. Yes. Yeah, we have one of and those. And these are just little, they're basically flyers. Yes. Yeah. But it had so much interesting information. Like there's that convention jinx that I would have wow. never known existed. You know, she wasn't, really in the line you couldn't you could never buy her anywhere no. yeah. was that first convention that was early yeah, it was wow. very early uh but it, you know Gosh, th she's right there with these, ninja force these guides are yeah like the pocket, were invaluable yeah, at the time the pocket guides were meant like you literally put it in your pocket while you're out at a show so you can reference it while you're there now we have our phones so we don't need those little pocket guides uh, you know what year is that what year did this guy put this out oh, I can, it's gotta be not early james 90s? d oh d simone yeah d simone did a ton of guides right it's got to be 90s. Wow, this is fantastic. And it's super handy if you're just yeah. trying to put stuff together, but it, it doesn't give you a lot of information. And that, no, that was no what really helped with Mark's book was like... Flavor text. Suddenly there's a description of like other names that they considered for a character or, yeah. you know, what the guys what the guy did or... I love here, like Ripcord's helmet, like Mutt and Blowtorches is from 84. You know, like it, it explains Using to you... Using the mold. It's the same mold, but, it, you yeah. know, or this was available with and without holes, things like that, you know? Well, so Mark took this idea. And... This was 93 and backed by Hasbro. Yeah. How about that? Really? So, oh, so funny, it's 90s. Yeah. 12 inch. So Mark took this idea... But Mark being Mark Belomo, mm -hmm. who is over the top, In very the best way knowledgeable. Possible. 2005. Right. So that, that's two, a decade apart. Yeah. Um, and then, so he took the picture idea, but then added the flavor text and the information. I mean, the guy's friends with Larry mm -hmm. Hama. So him and, La Hama. Him and Larry, uh, he would drill Larry for information. Yeah. And, and that's where and a lot of like that. The, the prototype names and things like that right. that are in there came from. Yeah. It's funny because... Um, Right around the same time we met Larry, we met Mark. Right in the same era, you know, right yeah. around the same couple of years. And whenever they would come to visit the store or do anything, it's them together. Okay. Yeah. They're both from up in the same yeah, you know, Mark city. Yeah, Mark area. would drive yeah. Larry. So Mark down. was like Larry's driver. And I always yeah. imagine the conversations just as Larry sitting there st quietly and Mark just drilling him for information. <laughs> <laughs> That's my imagination yeah. tells me. No, I'm sure they had very nice car rides. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I've had one of, one of uh, Mark's Joe books for a long time and I wanted to start using it as a way of cataloging my collection because it's so easy to, to forget that you're missing an accessory for a guy and then you rebuy it 
I'm trying to keep track of figures. So eventually, I bought a second <laughs> copy of Volume 1. I didn't bring the other Both one, copies. but this copy is my my checklist copy. So I put little red X's by the accessories as I get them. If the figure eventually is complete, I write complete at the top. Some of them say FC, meaning I have the file card. Some say FCB for full card back. Like There's all little kind of codes in here. I have a similar code with my pony book. I write right in this. That's great. I mean, and I have a similar code. Like, is it my, for my original collection when I was a kid? Ah. Is it a modern purchase? I have all kinds of like little code numbers and like different. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so when I started this book, this is this is my version. This is the working copy. We have the hardcover somewhere. Gotcha. Uh, but when I started this, uh, I just put a, I put a post-it note on every figure. Okay. Right? And then if I if I got the figure complete, I would pull the post-it note off. Nice. Right? So the pages you see with no post-it notes means I have it. I like that system a lot. That's actually. a good system. Or yeah. if I had the figure but I still needed the gun, I would write fig, cross it off, and i just kind of do an inventory of what I had or still needed. Yeah. So thankfully, almost all the post-it notes are gone. So I need a Starduster B. There you go. Right? I had A, B, and C written. Um, you know, Steel Brigades, this page is... So once you start getting into this, I need all their shoots. Yeah. So everything's crossed off. Figure, pack, <laughs> weapon. Right. Shoot, they all shoot, just say shoot. shoot. They do yep. just say shoot on that's, that's that. That's 1990 that's uh, Sky, Sky Patrol. Sky Patrol also. Yeah. So um, the, this book is actually... <laughs> oh yeah, good luck. You buy them carded and yeah. open it. This one is actually set up like a checklist. Okay. So it's very like, it wants you to write in it. And I'm this not is what, normally, the pony book? Yeah, this is the... Um, Summer Haze, the My Little Pony G1 Collector's Inventory. And it's pretty extensive. Um, I do have a page of like addendums and corrections that I made for myself back here. But like, yeah, she printed extra paper. I did. It's actually gotcha. set up with check boxes. Okay. So it, it really wants you to yeah. write in it. And it's it's pretty extensive. And I, I use it. I hate to write in a book, but it's, it's, my, it's my checklist. So that first my version Bible. of Larry's book right there. So Mark's book. Mark's, Mark's book. book, I'm sorry. That's right. <laughs> They're interchangeable. Uh, <laughs> no. In 2007, I worked at uh, Guitar Center. Okay. And um, uh, another guy came in. He, you know, we, we were friendly, and another salesman, and we, we'd hang out a little bit here and there. He's a nice guy. And uh, and one day, for some reason, G.I. Joe came up, mm -hmm. as it does. And I was like, oh, I love G.I. Joe. And I was like, and this, is, this is 2007, um, before I started, before 25th anniversary came out, yeah. or just, just before 25th anniversary came out. Um, matter of fact, we were, I think we were talking about G.I. Joe because there was a magazine and there was an ad in the magazine that showed old Snake Eyes and new and 25th Snake Eyes. Remember that ad? Remember that ad? So I think we were looking, I was like, oh, that's awesome. I remember having these as a kid and he was like kind of quiet and he was like, yeah, I like G.I. Joe too. Right. So we were like, well, it was a little thing. And I was like, oh, I loved it. I had all the, I had a flag. You know, I remembered everything, but yeah. I, again, I wasn't back into collecting. We weren't toy dealing at the time. <laughs> the next day he comes in and he has that in his hand. Okay. Right. What year was that? 2005. It says. Yeah, so yeah. he had that yeah. in his hand. Okay. And he put it down, and I, I didn't know that existed. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. So he was he trusted me with his nerdiness. Because <laughs> yeah. we're at Guitar Center. We're supposed to be like cool guitar yeah. guys or whatever. Um, I roll. <laughs> so I start going through it, and I, of course the guy had that. And, oh, my God, I remember that. And, you know, you know, the book amazed me and wowed me. And that guy officiated my wedding. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> is my best friend just at this time friend, right yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, all because of G.I. Joe. All because of he, wow. him, us connecting on G.I. Joe. Yeah. Of course, our relationship is much more than just G.I. Joe right. now. But my best friend, no. Carrie, uh, brought that book in. Like, we really connected on that. That's yeah. awesome. And then started going to toy shows. Yeah. And like, yeah. I didn't even know what toy shows were. He was like, oh, there's this really cool one I go to, a toy Delaware. show. And I was the like, a toy show. show. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I thought, like, a toy show was like, I, when I when I thought of toy show, I thought of toy fair. Okay, you know toy companies showing product. I didn't think of like a flea market. I thought right. of like like vendors, tin, tin right. toys and trains and army men. I yeah. never really thought about like ponies and joes and stuff like that. So um, yeah, um, yeah. He, he turned us on to the Nurse Shrine show in Delaware. That's awesome. Yeah. And that we met Ed. Met Ed. That. A lot. So much yeah. happened because of that. Hmm. So those are the G.I. Joe books. Mark has That's done three versions of this book. Yes. Just editions. That's the first. They're just this update, is each updates the one Second prior, edition, right? I think. Yeah, second edition. I think second edition he took all new photos for. He did. Which now, was great. Because one thing, first edition had yeah. good figure photos. The vehicles were a little bit not always the perfect angle. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it was like one shot per vehicle unless it was a huge playset. And I, I think he knew too that that was a weakness. But he got yeah. more pages. The book got thicker. So more pictures. The is one thing that I love about Mark's books, and I don't know if everyone at home knows this, 
Everything photoed in all of his books is from his personal collection. Correct. There's no thank you to Jim Smith for this picture. All of this is Mark's, and yeah. that is it, his storage. I can't imagine. <laughs> I think that's one of the reasons he hasn't done more books because he wants everything to be from yep. his. Yeah. yeah, he's working on supposedly the world's greatest reference website. I know. Well, I, I, We've I, talked about all it. of we us in the toy community are like, I can't wait to see this website because yeah. he shares on his page sometimes. Like, oh, I forgot I had these, and it's like all sealed yeah. spiral zone yeah. or just some Starters. oddball, you know. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, is third edition the only one to come in hardcover? I think so, yeah. yeah. Neat. That's and this is the third it. edition. Did he sign that one? Uh, oh, I just bumped the microphone. Did he sign this one? Let's see. Technically, this is mine. It's signed to me. Just yeah. So just did, to remind you. Did he sign it? He basically wrote a whole page. Well, in that's it. for me, too. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> he only cares me. about you. Well, it's so when I met Mark, I'm going to tell this little story. I may have told this before. Um, we were at, was it NJCC? What show was that? The one that Rosie used to put on. I think it was NJCC, right? No. No? Collector no. Con? Before. Um... I can't remember what show it was, but it was the first time I'd ever worn my Baroness costume anywhere, okay. ever. And I'm in this Rosie outfit. Rosie didn't do NJCC. Fran did NJCC. I, I mean, it might have been a Fran show that she was just helping with. I don't know. Anyway. She might have been there just passing things out. Uh, she was running the costume contest specifically. That's when oh. I met her. Um, but I was in my Baroness outfit. I'd never worn it before. And Mark is sitting outside on a bench. And um, we're at this hotel just like in the middle of New Jersey, just at a hotel, and like the people who are staying at the hotel have no idea what's happening. Yeah. People in like GI Joe outfits, like guns, like what's happening. And there's this old man, and as I'm walking back in, um, I saw Mark on the bench. I didn't even know who he was at the time. And this old man comes out, like just some guy who's like at the hotel, like for some convention or staying there or whatever. And he looks at me and he's like, What are you supposed to be? And I'm like, I'm the Baroness. What are you supposed to be? And Mark, I hear Mark laugh his ass off out of the corner <laughs> over here. And then later I realized, oh my God, that's Mark Belomo. Yeah. And I, from that day forward, we've been really good friends. <laughs> Penelope. Oh no, what is that going to say? Thanks for your friendship over the years. No, it doesn't say that, does it? You are one of the few people who I know will be themselves. Utterly, uncom uncompromisingly. Uh, oh my I can't gosh. Read it. Basically, <laughs> you what you're saying. <laughs> Something about your devious intellect. What? <laughs> Does it really say that? Yeah. All right. We're Did gonna... you never read it? No, I, I, it's too hard to read. Is it really hard? Anyway, he's a great guy, and he's done books on Mark is fantastic. GI Joe, right? He's done three on GI Joe, yep. two on Transformers. Correct. Uh, I totally think just the one Star Wars. Toys? Yeah, the one Kenner Star Wars. Right, and it's the Kenner Star Wars is very focused. It's uh, it's just the figures. There's no, there's no like it's ephemera. The figures, I think yeah, it's the figures. Twelve inch, twelve inch micro, micro. vehicles. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. well yeah. the 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 Kenner, the Kenner mini. Line. They call the mini figure line, yeah. which yeah. is the, I guess they're mini figures because they were really the first three and three quarter. Yeah. Uh, he did the totally tubular eighties toys up there. We've too. recently bought a Star Wars collection, and we've been it's going. It's been va invaluable. We've had, this book. book has been invaluable. One to One of us. the interesting things with the Star Wars book is it, it because Kenner wasn't inventing that line. He couldn't get like the Larry Hama like prototype names, so that book has a lot more of like the um, expanded universe descriptions of the characters. Yeah, so it's just sort of like a difference in the book. It it uh, it was just interesting as I was reading. I was like, oh okay, because I wondered what he was going to do. It's not like you have a prototype name. The for insight, Luke yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a lot of it's a lot of that EU like expanded story for characters. This Fantastic is a book, book. This is a line that would lend itself to this type of book. Because yes. of the different the Taiwan oh, and, and you know Lily so Letty and all that, yeah. I'm now I'm I'm speaking. I, there might be there a might book, be a guy, yeah. But there's people that know this, yeah, all, that much stuff about Star Wars. That would be nice to know because there are raised bar China stormtroopers that are worth more than a Hong Kong stormtrooper. So as a reseller, you know you can't know it all, right? So a resource like that, Mark if you want to write that book, would be phenomenal. <laughs> Mark, if you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> what is that Star Wars book? So this one, it, it looks like it's edited by Stephen Sansweet, which is cool, as everyone who's in the collecting industry knows him. The biggest um, Star Wars collection oh, in the world. Oh, yeah. God, it's all Power of the Force It in the is. Front. It's a Power, mixture. 95 Power of the Force yeah. 2. It's a weird mixture of modern and vintage. Like It sort of like talks about a character and then shows you all the different versions they've done of that character. So it's, it's kind of weird. How many... Um, that's an interesting way of looking at it's, it from it's a strange maybe way from the non collector's perspective. Like just a Star Wars fan would be interested in it organized in that the, way. The order of it is weird. It goes backwards. So like the oldest stuff is near the back, I think. Oh god. Um, it just starts with just a 
Oh, that is just man, the beautiful that's every, power of the that's force. Every other toy collection that comes in. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> are there are there many versions of Dexter Jexter in here? I There's wonder? at least twelve. Dexter Jexter. Everyone's favorite and all of his diner runner. No. <laughs> Um, our Transformers book got so much use that the lenticular front actually fell off. I had to glue it back on oh, last okay. night. Oh, yeah. we were talking about yeah, that. Yeah, so when Mark yeah. signed my copy of Transformers, he said to me, he goes, I'm being very careful not to flex the cover because sometimes the lenticulars pop off. It totally, it popped right off. We use it, I mean, I'm using it. It's yeah. a physical thing. It's not just on a shelf. I'm, it's being used, so I had to glue it back on last night. <laughs> great photos in here. <laughs> the pictures are great. Yeah. The black background is I didn't know cool. they made so many A-Wings. Uh, well, you had the original Power of the Force 85. Right. Uh, which was electronic, I believe, had sounds, and then they did the uh, you know power to force again yeah. in a green box. Uh, I just oh, didn't yeah, know they did so many paint schemes. Colors. Of it. Look at that! Yeah, you learn. St- I mean, that's the best thing about getting these books is finding out stuff that you didn't know about a line. Yeah, we have so. That's many funny. You look at the Endor videos. attack, and all I think about is a Joe Con. Yeah, twenty uh, fifth anniversary. That bunker. They reused that bunker. Yeah. Fisher Price toys, Mego toy guide. I just brought all the stuff that looked cool. We have coming dozens off that. of these. Yeah. Mego toy guide. I mean, yes. as you can see, they get used. The cover is popping off of this one because we just used it. Oh, so these much. are all very used. Yeah. So when I was a love. kid, before the internet, before toy guides, <laughs> this was my this was my Star Wars guide. It's the back of the card, blown, blown up, up, taped together, and on the back. I have written down extra figures that didn't actually get listed on the card back because you have things like. Um, blue Snaggletooth. What number Yak back face. is that? Is that this, a 79? This is the 74. Uh, 77? No, it goes to 92. I'm sorry. This is oh, so that's right. uh, that's Power of the Force. Yeah, yeah so this right. this ends with Bosk. I don't know how they did the order, because number one is Power of the Force. So it's EV 99. Oh, uh, maybe the newer ones towards... Uh, yeah, at the beginning there, yeah. at the bottom of the rows. So if whoever doesn't know, uh, on the backs of most action figures... They would have a list of the other action figures that were available. So you would know what else you had to go to the right. store and yep. buy. Uh, them all. And those are the original <laughs> checklists. Yep. Uh, there was nothing like getting a, a GI Joe in 1983 and seeing who all was slated characters. to come out. Then they got smart and started making them shadow instead of you seeing what. So you had to guess like, what is this? They did that with some of the Ewoks. Yep. The they later. blacked out Ewoks. Yeah, on some they of the card did. Backs. Lou Matt and Pat Blue, I believe. But so yeah, I wrote on on the bottom here. I don't know if there some of them were cut off or they just weren't shown on here anyway on the back i wrote down some of the just explanations like um yak face blue snaggletooth a-wing pilot i don't the a-wing pilot's on here i'm not sure why i re-wrote I love him. that you still have that kevin i just found this recently and, cool. and like i knew we were gonna do this episode and i was like oh my gosh we i need this but the original this i had this forever i love how big it yeah, how that's how that up so my that friend's that. my friend's mom <laughs> <laughs> photocopied it for us or maybe his uncle I, I'm not sure so as a kid my best friend growing up his uncle that lived in Chicago was a toy collector oh and I've never seen Uncle Bobby's collection I've just heard stories about it but Uncle Bobby would ship my buddy Derek a box like at his birthday and it would be what what everyone else would consider shells but to us it was a Millennium Falcon and it didn't matter that it was missing the back cover or it was an ad at who cares about the chin guns. We were so excited to get that stuff. So I'm not sure whether um, they copied this while they were in Chicago from one of Bobby's things or maybe Bobby copied it and sent it to Derek and they made me a copy. I don't remember exactly how I got it, but we just stared at this because some of these figures we had never seen, like a yeah. Monomon. We just had never saw it. A man, a man. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Um, Why? That's fantastic that they I blew that it. up for you like that, and, but, and you still held on. I love to that it. you've got all your X's. Yep, and everything. got all the guys checked Check off because I was, I was. So when I stopped being playing with toys and became a collector, I focused on the three and three quarter inch GI Joe and the vintage Star Wars. I had the, sold the two most collectible. Lines. I had yeah. sold my He Man stuff. I had sold my Thundercats, all stuff that I love now and have recollected. But like I was on a mission to have every G.I. Joe and every Star Wars guy. And so that's that's kind of the era that this was. I was probably I was probably like 12 or 13, Still like heading into middle school, and like, I'm going to get them all, you know? Yep. Yeah, the numbering scheme is so strange. It is, a 92 back. It's got to be Power of the Force, because um, regular, at the end of Jedi, I think, stopped at 77. Yeah, and this definitely has the Power of the Force, guys. Does. It has well, no, 
there were 79 the figures. Back. But oh no, they but there were 77 the, because um the they stopped R2 making the original the R2 and original yeah. 3 and replaced them with sensor scope R2 and removable limbs to limb, yeah. Right. Which is why there's so many like miscounts on, yes. Like if you look online, how many figures are there? Yeah, it gets it's, kooky. It's debatable it's because to, of yeah. those kind of weird things and like the Max Rebo band. Yes. they're never on a list like this. But how can you not count them as action figures? Yeah. Salacious you Crumb, know? right? The Dianoga, right? Is that a figure or not? Is it no, a beast? How do you? It's a beast. You know? it's a yeah, beast. but you have to have it in a figure collection. Yeah. Three leg R two yeah. from the from the Droid Factory. Droid Factory. Yeah. The only version, Kenner version of three legged R two. Like how many so variants? It gets. It gets Hinky. You know, yeah. there are definitely 79 figures released on card from the first three movies. Mm-hmm. Right. right? And yeah. then there are the last 17 on right. the Power of the Force cards, right? Um, so that's it. You can add those together. Then there's Blue Snag. Yeah. Then there's Max Rebo Band. Uh, Wampa, does I that think count that, as no, a figure? Wampa's not a figure? You know what I mean? But I, but think there's, I think that's where you, I think that's it. And then yeah. if you want to go Ewoks and Droids. Right, then you've got those add-on lines. Yep. And yeah. then there's variants. Right. you got Smile and Lando. you got brown and, hair Luke. Yeah. Right, you got Big Head Han. you got different White hair, lightsabers. White-haired nope, Ben. Yep. yep. There's so many. Star Wars is a... Red bar Once R4. you start doing that, yeah. you you could tumble down a hole. Which yeah. Mark's book does touch on yeah. Smiling Lando and, and the... So there are variants upon variants upon variants with and, Star and, Wars, and new it's variants endless. get discovered for a lot of toy lines all the time. Correct, uh, but then there are the the like long held variants, brown hair Luke, brown blonde hair Luke, Luke, you know yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah, big head Han, small head Han. Right. Uh, the other ones, you know, sometimes there's conjecture, and sometimes it's just like, well, what really is a variant? We you know, just a slight about paint. This. The Ugnaught. The blue versus the purple. Well, there is a true. Some folks don't. So he has come to his little. Uh, his blue little is pal toy. I mean, right. they did. It is real. It depends yeah. where they source the fabric. Exactly. You know? But a lot That's of folks correct. are like, no, there's no blue. It's just a variant because of the time. Sun faded light it. And no, sun. it's actually blue. No, it exists. Hollow cheek. Uh, yeah, Tuscan yeah. Raiders. Tuscan, Tuscan Raider. Raider. Yeah. So it goes. It gets crazy. It's a so Thank God, GI sure. Joe isn't that bad. We have Zorana. Mm. We have Zorana. We have yeah. the the dark gloved. Uh, Copperhead. Yes. Uh, I like that one. Uh, Keel Hall. I think there's yeah. like the mail away version without the, the patch. Without the patch. You've got the stickers on the side of Gung Ho. Well, but that's not a variant. Don't. They just come they off. They just come off. Yeah. Duke's got the two different versions of his sleeves. Sleeves. Yeah. And there's, his backpack. There's you know, a fair amount in Joe, yeah. but it's not, not like Star Wars. It's not It's not as crazy. It's yeah. A, yeah it's the mail aways, you know, Steel yep. Brigade and, um, and uh, Starduster. Starduster, because they were just using whatever parts were around. It always comes back to G.I. Joe. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, why have we not done a G.I. Joe episode? I don't know. <laughs> We're like don't. dancing around it. Because I like to say something now and then. Farpoint always comes in and we always do like the weird lines. Obscure. I yes. like that the though. Well, that's, that is lines. one of the fun things is that it's like, you you guys have this amazing collection of those weird things. It's so perfect to, yeah. to yeah. talk about things that people don't know about. People, it is. People haven't seen in 20 years. I hope years, that we turn you know? people on to some stuff. I hope, yeah. I mean, actually I apologize. <laughs> because people are going to go and try and find some of these Mark Belomo books. Yeah. Isn't his Star Wars book crazy expensive now? Or is that the oh, they're all crazy book? expensive now. The, the way that prices have gone up for the toys yeah. themselves, the books have followed suit. Because everybody that wants a collection wants the book too. It's correct. Yeah, totally. I mean, you can go find the information online, but like we you said, we, we are collectors. Mm-hmm. You know, and, Look and at that beautiful hardback fly. It's awesome. It's fantastic. That's this beautiful. is the penultimate. The third version is, yeah. you know, he's he really. Knew what he was doing. I mean, he knew what he was doing from the beginning, but Mark is a, uh, not to stay on Mark the whole time, but he's done so many books. Yeah. He's he's a very meticulous. Mm-hmm. Um, I love that all the stuff is from his personal collection. The the last of the Mark books, I think, is, and a this totally is- Totally tubular. Totally tubular 80s toys, which is really- It's uh, just an overview. It's just a celebration. Yeah. It, it's a fun book because you can do things that aren't part of a line. Like, you can put Simon in there, and you can put in, you know, the- um, What's the pogo ball thing? Oh, you know, yeah. The God, stand um, on. Um, yeah, like all, yeah. all those kind of fun things that aren't really, you could never do a book because it's a single thing or like a short line, like yeah. Boglins or yeah. whatever could be in there. But uh, that's what makes that book a lot of fun. It's truly a coffee table book. It's yes, the kind of book you is. put out when your non collecting friends come over and you can cream. all still sit around and look in that book and be like, oh my God. I had right. that. I had you might that. actually I had cause that. somebody to collect yeah. if they start picking <laughs> that up. Uh, speaking of books like that, I think you have the Toys That Time Forgot. I do. It's actually right here. Oh. Mine is, is still shrink wrapped. Super, super interesting concept. I, I have looked at it before, <laughs> just not this copy. 
Uh, but yeah, this is a, a, a book what that's cool, about prototypes so and things cool. like that, which is amazing. Toys that never were made. Now, some from toy lines that did exist, right? And some toy lines that didn't exist at all that's that made it to the crazy. prototype stage. Yep, so for for Blake, 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 right? For Blake, to, I'm breaking the seal. Since all we're right, crack about, the seal. Uh, uh, hold your breath. For for Blake to somebody have, out there is like, I wanted a sealed copy. The, <laughs> no, <laughs> so we start bidding. The uh, the <laughs> amount of of work that probably went into that research, uh, I know for oh. a fact that he's been in touch with yeah, people who worked for toy companies. Yes. Uh, LJN, our, our contact at, L, at former LJN contact. Yeah, look at this. He he so, purchased some things from. Uh, he, oh wow. dude, that's that. So that right there is um, uh, Clash of the Titans, isn't it? It's crawl. Oh, that's crawl. It's oh crawl. my god, they didn't do crawl toys. No. Yeah. Oh my god. You to the perfect page. <laughs> So That's they the never game. made crawl toys. No. And and you know they, sure they did have. Clash of the Titans. They did all these other eighties lines. Well, I think that's why they were gonna do crawl, and then they so realized, unproduced sectars. No, didn't work out. Unfortunately, crawl bombed. Oh wow! Is that so the army builder uh, bad guy? He's Could be. Don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. I I think that Zika has done him. Okay. In three and three quarter. Buzzkill. Yeah, I, th I think Zika has done a three and three quarter version of that. Okay. Yeah. Um, Man, that, we, so we need those. He had a table at RetroCon the one. That's actually where I looked at the book. I think it's where I bought it. All right. And I just never, it like went on my shelf and I just never got back around to reading through it. Now this is what I know what I'm going to be doing tonight is like reading this. Checking this out. Cover. He, there, there is, there, that's another. Female sectar. Oh, Whoa. wow. The girls always get cut from the line. Like they Jenny really from Bucky O'Hare. You know, it you know? sucks. It, I, I hate that that's true, but they, they need to do what sells. And if little dudes don't want to play with a girl, then I then, then so, I get it. One of the so things I think with that concept is that art, a lot of times so cool. it's not that the boys won't play with the girl. I think it's that the boys will always pick a boy figure when given a choice. Sure, and the girl because, becomes a could, peg warmer. Yes, because like every boy wants Chitara. Sure, but if Panthro, if you don't have Panthro yet, you're, you're getting gonna Panthro. Panthro. Pan yeah. Chitar's gonna be the last one, and that's what always happens. Famously. So then it's perceived that they don't want the girl, and it's just that they don't want the girl. They don't prioritize First. the girl. Yeah, sure, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. Would you and rather it, have the hero or the? And unfortunately, that's what kind of kills it. But uh, I gotta admit, out of the original sixteen GI Joes, Scarlet may have been the last one I got. You and, know what but I mean? Like I had Jinx as a kid and loved her, but Me too. I didn't pick her out. My she's a ninja with two swords. Yes, yeah. awesome. I mean that, super awesome. <sighs> Star Wars eighty five unproduced. Whoa! Here we go get Java's dancer. Wow! Oh, man. I wonder if he owns that prototype, or he just contacted who owns the prototype. There's a bunch of the Ewoks uh, toys wow. from the cartoon, yeah. unproduced. So yeah, I mean you can go down a rabbit hole with this. Oh, we yeah. we don't really. And there's a second volume of this too. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. saying we don't really collect prototype here's, stuff. Here's what I love. <laughs> right there. Oh, so yeah. cool. So Super 7 got. went and did that, yeah. Wow. Which is amazing. Yeah. Eventually That's the aliens. Out. I love the concept of, of reaction going back. Hammerhead turned into Big Chap. Yep. Alien. There's a lot of that with like the Kenner Star Wars guys being adventure Fisher people Price, as, yeah. the, yep. as the um, prototype. Absolutely. So cool. Super cool stuff. Um, a friend of ours actually made us I wonder costumes. if Gurney is Dune in there. Oh, I should look and say. I don't know. Because I know our Gurney Halleck might be in there. I know the <laughs> hour. Hold on, back up. What? Yeah, hour. hour. We are a. These no. are wedding rings. Yeah, no, I get you know, that. Don't give him any preconceived notions. They are together. <laughs> yeah, Kevin, your wife now owns half of your toys. She does. She has an amazing toy collection. <laughs> <laughs> Instant. So Instant. I, I have a lot of stuff in storage currently, and I said to her, one is like a uh, climate controlled one. It has my collection in it. The other one is just an outdoor unit that has like power tools and like some of my furniture and stuff and i was like so the furniture might be more useful to you but the climate controlled one if something happens to me is probably the one you want to have emptied first because there's a lot more value in there yeah you don't want uh storage <laughs> wars on that one no yeah, no you it don't want to storage to wars that. on that one um no i know that blake definitely contacted uh our, our friends former friends from ljn um I think former they, friends or still our well, friends no the fr our friends who are former ljn people right i got you um doesn't mean he's not in I the... And, and I think he bought like some like flat proto like uncut cards yeah. and stuff from them. Might be in the second copy. I okay. didn't see Dune on a quick so cool. scroll through here. That's volume one. He did two volumes, right? right. So that's an yeah. interesting book where it's unproduced stuff. I want to see the Krell so stuff. So a very different type of guy because you can't collect this stuff really. They're no. all one of a oh, kind. No, you can. You can. You've got to have deep pockets. Yes. You're not yes. collecting them at a toy show. No. no. 
Um, uh, did you know it's funny we didn't bring any toy fairs or anything like that to speak about. Mm. You know, um, uh, yeah, toy fair magazine for a while there. You know, there there weren't. You've got a few. I've got a least toy review Great. here. Yeah, uh, I got a Tomarts. Tomarts. So oh, nice. to Tomarts this is, day, was huge. to this day, I use a copy of Tomarts. Uh, for, Dragon um, Blaster Skeletor. Yeah. Uh, uh, real Ghostbusters. Oh, okay. Their their issue about real Ghostbusters is fantastic, and to this day, it's what I use. To and there's reference. not a fantastic online resource for Ghostbusters. You should see our, the save tabs we have. Oh, on, sure. So, but but <laughs> Ghostbusters, there's no, there is a few, but um, it's usually like carded pictures yeah. where the, the hard to see the accessories. The yeah, exactly. Is carded. But you can still kind of see what's going on in there. Uh, there's also uh, there's a pretty good turtle resource online, uh, the virtual turtle museum. There's a few, but oh, yeah. again, um, there are so many variants with turtle weapon color. Yes, that sometimes you feel like uh, this isn't the right it's thing crazy. I have, and sometimes it's really tricky too if you don't know th- the name of the item. Some of the online stuff is harder to look through, like paging through a book. Trying to find a figure that you don't know the name of, especially yeah. from a line you're not as familiar. Oh with. yeah, it's a little easier than like randomly clicking by year or going through an alphabetical or order trying list. to figure out what its name. Sometimes is. you put a lot of effort into a three dollar figure. Yes, it it just happens. There are some great forums if you're on any social media, like you know on Facebook. There's some action figure definition, and people guide. can't wait to tell you what they know. There's yes. an there's an action figure <laughs> identification fantastic. group on Facebook I got kicked out of. I forgot the cardinal rule one night. And you said I need that. to offer to buy anything. That's the action figure identification guide on Facebook. It's a great I am, resource. I have been banned. And oh, you, damn, that sucks because you are probably yeah. fantastic in that. I loved being in that group. And you have one to, night you have to message them behind I, the scenes. Just, <laughs> I just wasn't thinking. And actually Tony from Retrocon literally texted me. He goes, you can't ask to buy that and I was like, oh, right. I went to hit delete, and I got the message that I was you out of the group. You were instantly banned for instantly one banned. infraction? It was like that. I, I have to know what the wow. item was. It was like a Game of Thrones action figure. <laughs> oh, it was like it was good. like the three and three quarter inch ghost from the from the Oh, my God. <laughs> from the Super line. 7 yeah. Funko. Oh, how like, the mighty oh. have fallen. That yep. sucks, because that is a great Reaction. Game. That's what I, I did get you. him. I have that. Congratulations. I, it, I hope it was worth it. Cost yeah. me the identification club membership. It's a great I love that. <laughs> it's a good and group. It's a great group. Here's the thing, there are people that completely take advantage of it. I always try and and do as yeah. much research as I can. At least look for Right. Uh, some some makers' yeah. marks or as, some COOs. As people that do this for a living, we never expect someone else to do our work. All of it, right? Yeah. That really comes down to is you can you can give a man a fish or you can teach a man the fish, right? Yeah. Um, so I used to be kind of a dick. I, I'm not anymore. Used to be. On that page, I would say I would say you know Google is your friend or you yeah. know because I would get annoyed and I got to, I had to take myself out of it. I would get annoyed when it was like something really obvious when it was like Duke. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or, or like, like who is this? Who not is everybody. This? But then I had to realize not everybody knows the same information. Right. And who am I to say it, it's it's what you should know? Right. There are people just getting into this, so I totally stepped back and like took a deep breath. And, <laughs> yeah, and now, if it, if and now I'm one of those people like, people, look what yeah. I know. If people are asking you questions and you don't feel like answering them, that's fine. Just don't respond. Right. Don't Versus, be a yes, dick. And I have to admit, I was a little rolling. bit of a dick it, in the beginning. It is frustrating though too when people will post something that they clearly know what it is and they want to know the value. And it's like, why are that, you asking people value? Do you just know what I say about that? Just I'll, go on eBay. I'll, I'll appraise it for you, but I yeah. want to share the profit if you're selling so it. So yeah. as people that do this professionally, at least two or three times a week, we get a message from some random person. Hi, can you tell me what this is? And I feel awful because like, I, I want I want to help them and I, then I'm interested and I want to research even if I don't know. Yeah. But at the same time, like that's it that's a professional service. Yeah, but for the most part we tell them for because, the most part. because if we know, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And 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 hopefully if they're looking to sell it, we, we, they'll sell it to yeah. us. So right. people reach out to us all the time for that kind of thing. But but like it depends on what the reasoning is for asking that because sometimes okay, they're if they're looking to put it on eBay and sell it, uh, well, we can make you an offer or um if they want to do it for like insurance reasons or to know for their collection, well then that's a pr- that's an appraisal. That's, a, that's kind of a professional yeah. appraisal thing yeah. where we could tell you what we think it's worth, but it, it, it's not gonna that's not gonna do anything for your insurance if you're trying to bump your insurance or something. You right. actually need to get it professionally done. Yeah. So yeah, the whole appraisal thing, as far as like I, I want to say modern meaning like '80s and newer, yeah. it's difficult because like there's 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 certificates you can get, but they don't specialize in in what we do. You know, it's just like collectible toys and tin toys. Like tin toys and GI Joes are two Very totally different. different worlds. Toe Marts, Skylanders versus Infinity. Mm-hmm. So this is about ten years old. Yeah. Right, it's Skylander. Both of those 
lines now are done. Right. Skylanders were amazing when they first came out, but they just they the whole thing just went. This is great because they kept going. Like there's some great He Man stuff here. It's really cool. Big Jim. Oh, they talk about uh, Battle Cat being Big Jim. Oh, okay. I, I, I guarantee these are collectible now. I'm Absolutely. sure. I haven't looked. Yeah. I bet this is worth totally. more than the $5.99 it was sold for. You'd think so. Hellboy it's awesome. Too, I wish Army. I had saved more of them. Really, what I used to do with a lot of these things is I would tear out the little oh, sections cute. on G.I. Joe, put it in a binder, and get rid of the issues just because it, of space. But you're yes. getting the information you need right and there you're in the only This stuff is awesome. But I, now I like to wow. look at the old articles and yeah. go, oh, look at, look at what they said was going to come out in 2005 and didn't. You Some know? of the old ads are really cool. But G. these, these were Cobra. super useful. And even, even like I said, like with Mark's first version of the book, right? The pictures of some of the vehicles weren't always exactly what you needed. But this book, or these things that, uh, I think this was from Lee's, you know, they really oh, showed yeah. Look at every that. angle and every piece, yeah. which was super useful. That looks, uh, some of that looks, to, uh, not, no, I was going to say the mortar looks like it's the actual size. It's, it's close, though. Oh, that yeah, that's pretty close. Oh, is that a real size? Sometimes they do stuff like that. That's neat. That's very cool. All the little play sets, the trouble wow. bubble. Kevin, you were very meticulous with that. That looks yeah. fantastic in the binder. Oh, yeah. oh, that's oh, pretty crazy about saving this kind of stuff. Oh, wow, man. Oh, good old Star Wars. Yep. Super wow. cool. Power of the Force 2 variants. Yeah, you had to... Oh, oh my God. Long saber, <laughs> long short saber, tray. Long saber, short tray, tray, all the uh, trays. Wait, no, short saber, long tray. Oh. Full circle, Listen, half circle. Listen, that's tough. Before I, the internet, you don't know whose weapon, weapon went, goes yeah. with whose. Yeah, yeah that, not at all. And, and, and Before the internet, how would you know? You oh, made your own yeah, toy guides. Yeah. Oh, man. We just we should we, bring that up. Oh, that's a good episode. Speaking of new to the collection... Kevin, we bought a collection that has oh yeah every indie thing box. Oh man! Wow. Yes, oh, every Kenner it, indie. That's very. Cool. That's a, that would be a good That'd be a episode. Great episode. Yeah, maybe man. maybe next time. We gotta come back and do that. Yeah, well, we're gonna keep coming back. We yeah. we've had Kevin and I actually talked about maybe a couple GI Joe things that we should. Yes, we oh, we gotta no. do a GI Joe. Thing. We oh, can God. never do a GI <laughs> Joe. No, it's the, like the big lines have to be broken down yeah. somehow. It makes yeah. it more fun. Too. Is that mask? Yeah, look at that. Wow. Oh, there's rare stuff there too. That's what a that's great uh, job split they seconds. Did. Yeah. It just looks so good, just as far as is that, graphic is that design the goes. Barracuda, the that graphic yellow? layout was great. It's please. fantastic. The that's coloring. laser command. I need that for the museum. Oh, down at the bottom, yeah. Yeah, that's a very tough piece. Yeah, those are all split seconds. That's great. Oh, there's your Ghostbuster there's reference. Ghostbuster. Where, now, what did you pull all these out of? I think they're from Lee's. That one's from Lee's. Yeah. yeah. Wow. There's so like that's carded. Filmation. Yeah. filmation wow. Stuff. Oh, that is <laughs> that's fantastic. Oh, primeval. Yeah. An Eddie, the what bone troller, and then there's your yeah, real good. That's really stuff. cool that they put both in there. I wonder, um, I wonder if anybody's working on any so of these that stuff for like these guides. I bet there, I bet there's somebody, but it. I really like what Mark's what runs sell is, out. It depends, yeah. right? I really hope that Mark's website is is still in process. I know he's been working on it for literally as long as I've known him. What were you saying? I, the hardest thing is that to get these publishers on board, they need. Like that media tie-in, they need. Yep. It seems like every time you talk to somebody like Mark or whoever, they're like, "Yeah, we're like I have I have a Silverhawks thing ready to go, but nobody yeah. thinks that there's enough support for Silverhawks. Yeah. It'll sell out. It would. It, it absolutely sell, would. There's no media. There's no real media tie-in. Not really. Not really. Mm -hmm. But there was just. They're a movie. all failed media tie-ins. Yes. So I guess. But okay, they look at it as that's so the company enough. looks like it's on the the consciousness of people. Silverhawks, right. I guess, isn't. But but as toy people, we know. Uh, there is a market. There is a market. There is a market. Silverhawks will sell out. For sure. Y y Super 7 should have a publishing wing. Yes. Because they they obviously get it. Oh, I think Nacelle actually does. has a publishing they wing. They do have a publishing wing. So maybe, maybe some things Maybe will... that's on the... We haven't been Come told together. anything behind the scenes about that, but Not... maybe that's on the horizon. Yeah, that, that would, would be Because that would be really that smart. That would be fantastic. Wow. I mean, we might have just stumbled onto something there. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, damn, they figured us out. No, they, they, they don't do toy books. I think they just had like a, yeah, I don't know. They do do publishing. No, we don't know though. That publishing, they they actually did a toy book about rack toys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So maybe yes. that is leading maybe down that line. You're right. I forgot about that. I should right? that. Why is that? And they own the dang. rights. It's not funny you say Silverhawks. Right. They own the rights to Silverhawks. Yeah. Didn't, don't they? I think so. Yeah. Right? So yeah. Brian Flynn has the toy. Yep. So, wow. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. 
on the horizon. Still more G.I. Joe books, because you never get enough. There's, <laughs> there are so many uh, books that, that cover other other eras. Real so American Hero Collection? This, this is after um, the three and three quarter inch 94 Oh, there's ended. a book on that stuff? There is. So it's still O-Ring. So this is all the O-Ring yeah. stuff. That direct was to consumer. Us and direct to consumer. So I need that book. It's super useful to have. <gasps> wow. You know. The two packs. Yep. This is this is like when I was in college. I was going to KB Toys and buying these. I didn't college. know there it's was It's still any. O-Ring. Now, because I'm almost done, my uh, 82 to 94, I've been thinking about continuing it. O ring, have you? But what killed me? <laughs> Kevin's laughing have at me. We, I mean, we have, have we? What ha- we have? But because I was like, you know what? O ring's done. Yeah. There is a. That's it. There's a specific uh-huh. number of O ring. Yeah. yeah. And now all of a sudden, there's more. They're doing them they're again. Back they're bringing O ring back. When they said they were never going to do them again. Gosh, remember these guys? The oh, they're Joe so terrible. Oh, oh. They're so bad. So de- that- I was so happy to have GI Joe at that point. But I knew they were bad as I was buying. Well, what's funny is a few of those years. It's funny to turn into a GI Joe conversation. It again. always does. Yo, Joe. <laughs> um, there were a few of those years. They were co- coinciding some O rings yes. and those, which was bizarre. When you would buy a pack, and there would be a, yeah. a T crotch guy and an O ring guy in the yeah. same pack. Do you remember the little green carded O ring, like five dollar figures? They would. Yes. There was a, right before twenty fifth yep. anniversary. They were out in the dollar store. Was that like Velvet yeah. versus Venom? I know those. No, the not the same cards. molds though, but it, but the same, kind of from the same era. Yeah, same era. Yeah. So I have all the vehicles and everything. Wow. The brawler, that hammer repaint. I need that book. There's all the weird sound yeah. effect stuff. Yeah. Oh god, that sound effect. I know. The guns yeah, are terrible because yeah, they have those little yeah. weird clips. On the I was sides. like cutting the tabs off of those and then like using a lighter to try and melt it smooth. Uh. And now I'm like, why did you do that? Yeah, because now, now they're, they're they, not they specifically you go with the sound things. You need them for those. Yeah, I just they, I uh. I. I was okay if a guy came with a sound weapon if it wasn't like his primary weapon. Yeah. But some of the guys, it was like that's clearly that's his main it. gun. And yeah, like they did a firefly one with the sound thing on the yeah. side. Yes. I don't know. It is what it is. What we do. So another GI Joe reference guide. This is the After Action Report, Volume One. Now this is a little bit different. Okay. This, um, I bought this from Larry. This is. Not to be talking about toys the whole time. This is a reference to the comic books. Oh, I and saw every that. variant of the comics. What? Wow. I saw that at Joe Fest. This will make a collector's brain bleed. Yes. You can have hemorrhages from Oh, I have a complete collection of the Marvel G.I. Joe run. No, you but don't. do you oh, have it with the Spider Man in the corner instead of the barcode? Correct. There are th- three versions of the second print of uh, G.I. Joe, wh- whatever number this is. Uh, what number is this? 35. 30. It's just crazy. My eyes are not Because there's different barcodes. There's different yeah. uh, ways that the, uh, at the top on the left-hand side is where the number is and, and yeah. the, the, the date and all that stuff. So so these are just multiple versions of how many. It's crazy. It is crazy. And as a completist collector, it will make you absolutely insane. <laughs> this is cool. This is one about is about Fisher Price. It's a guide from 1964 to 1990. It's an That's interesting. That's a good range. It's a it's a giant range. It's a very strange range. It's a great write up on Larry in this book. I mean, you'd have to have a, a write up yeah. on Larry if you're doing a comic. Comic, absolutely. Mego book. Um, I want to see. I want. I just want to look at. It's a whole interview. I want to see uh, issue one. How many versions there are? So not many. There's the bagged one, right? There's, Regular. There's just so th- everybody thinks because there's so many ones out there that there was a second print. There's never a second print of one. The second print of one is Tales of GI Joe. Yeah, it says it on it. Right. But there was never a second print where um, it looks like the same cover. There was only newsstand and direct. direct. Right. That was it for number one. Um, what they, was but the they printed a bunch one? of them. The bad ones were were number ones. Yeah. That they sold the Target and Target had it yeah. put in baggies. Were they newsstand or direct? That I don't remember. Probably newsstand. They were just surplus. Yes, they were surplus because yeah. they printed so many of these. Now, why would Target yeah. put them in a bag? I wonder, just to make them easier to not be damaged while I don't know just shipping. We, them so what she's that? referring to is we came across. I, want, a I wonder if they didn't have comic racks, so they needed to have a. Peg system. Maybe so the bag, there were no holes yeah. in the bag. Yeah. We oh, came no, across a collection okay. of like eight they would do it sealed baggy GI Joe number ones. Hmm. 
that we sent to get graded. And they're not like bag and boarded. It's just like in like a plastic, yeah. almost like a pack of cards. Like yeah, I'm, I mean, I remember getting like three comics in a value pack bag right. kind of thing Same back idea. in the day. Yeah, but it's just a single copy of G.I. Joe number one. And they went to Target. But oh, they even get into the... About that. Wow, they even get into Action Force and Transformers oh, okay. and stuff because it crosses over with G.I. Joe. Yeah. So. Cool. It's a, it's a, a very interesting it. book. I mean, it, you're, it's a very niche market. Yes. But for something this to be printed, yeah, mm-hmm. you think that they would do a Thundercats book. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, so for that to be self-published, the effort that goes into is probably self-publishing that, you would think a bigger brand right. could get its own For this guy to have book. accumulated all of those comics oh, to figure gosh. out the variants of the comics is, is insane. So yeah, a, I think a Thundercats book would sell really well. I think so. Uh, we're waiting, guys. Somebody get on that. Pixel Dan, you know. Somebody, when you're not, anybody. When you're not on air. He's he's working on a couple books. I do know that. All right, cool. I, don't, I don't think I can talk about him, but he is working on some books. Well, if that's the caliber. Right. Yeah. If they're all this good, yeah. they're going to be insane. Him and Mark are, are setting the market, man. Yeah. I mean, let's, let's just, that they should they should just like, kind of like um, hash out. Draw a line. Yeah. yeah. Like, take like, this one. I'll take this one. Like the like this <laughs> CS, like Berlin. Yeah. Yeah, right? Like, okay, this is where the lines are drawn. Here's me. Here's you. Because it would be it would be great for us collectors. Yes. It would be good. That is a fantastic book. I got one other book over here I, I definitely want to talk about. This is one of the earliest toy guides I own. It's called Action Figures of the 80s. Hmm. And I got this at Borders one time, like wow. forever ago. Like, <laughs> I mean, the internet existed, but toy books just weren't that common yet. Let's see what's on the cover uh, there. We got a Ghostbuster. We got uh, Transformers. Uh, Scorponok. Mr. T. Uh, you got uh, Ber- a Berserker, Thundercat. E.T. Yeah. Is that Spider? Some no, oh, it's Mr. T. Okay. Battle Beast. It says Toys of the 80s. Joe. Oh, yeah, I guess uh, Ghostbusters was eight, uh, late 80s. Yeah. So Yeah, totally. I was super excited to get this because I, I think I bought this before I had any of Mark's books. Like, it was one of the first toy books I'd seen. And I knew I know there were other toy books, but to find one about 80s stuff, this is from 98. Wow. So I was super impressed. The problem with a book like this from this era is that it's not really a complete guide as far as pictures go. It's, it's, a, f- a, it's a price guide. So like here's the, the Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Oh. Right? Yep. We got four toys pictured. Wow, there's New Adventures of He-Man there. They, they yeah. probably cost, they were probably you know, still on clearance <laughs> when this book came out. And you know, and it keeps going through, and I'm I'm excited. We got more yeah. and more characters. Cool, but it just doesn't quite have. That's cool. Enough, right? It's it's like it wets your whistle, and you're like, wait, well, yeah. I want to see the whole line, right? And there's all kinds of things described here. Well, what do they look like? You yeah, know? so it touches. Oh, that's that's Dino Riders, right? So it's already on to the next thing, uh, so quickly. Yeah, and so uh, I like this book. Looks but like I, they I quickly the... touch on Power Lord. What is that right there? Black Star. Black Star. Oh, Black Star. Yep. Yep. Uh, so it, I liked this book at the time, but it, it it makes me appreciate the Pixel Dan and the Mark Belomo books, yeah. where it's just because everything. they really well, grind that's the gateway into drug. It. Yes. Right. You know, oh, there's Silver two Hawks. Silver Hawks. That's it. Like, not enough pictures. Thundercats. Well, pictures is where it's at. Pictures is where. And that's why when I got that um, uh, He Man book, uh, although the the dearth is that a good word the, the, is that a word I think I just made it up it might be a, it might be a Dungeons and Dragons character name that's Deeth uh, the, the the amount of information in the book is a, is, a, is it's amazing. overwhelmingly yeah. deep when you want a quick reference with pictures it's not exactly it's not it. yet I'm, I'm leaving tonight and ordering that is that still available that Pixel Dan book yeah it is I believe so it, it, the, and we're done filming this episode <laughs> we're we buying one, one immediately you need to get one for sure. That's the, fantastic. Check out some of these like wacky things though. Mighty Crusaders. Stuff, oh, that, stuff that you will probably never get its own book. Stuff. You know. Wow. I love that. I love fun. the Defenders. It, yeah, Defenders are cool. They actually re- have redone those. They're showing off all the different April O'Neils in there. There are 17. <laughs> I like the green suit. She green suit's rare. Yeah. yeah, that's the van, news van one. Like uh, but the original April is like Plain Wrestlers. and then with then a stripe, with stripe, and then, and then like the stripes. orange accents. Yeah, there's a lot of there's That's a lot a of cool weird variants like that. That's I, a cute I like overview. That like it's I said, a cute overview. It, it it totally wet my whistle, but made yeah. me crave. It's almost more it's almost kind of like the, uh, the totally, totally a little bit. Ways. It's yeah. just kind of yep. like a gateway drug. Yeah. To all right, I really want to get specific on the the thing that I like with tubular is it it focuses a lot more on those toys that aren't part of a line though, like Rubik's cube sign. Yeah, it's a good point. It's not as much of those like. 
I need to know more about this. You yeah, know, yeah, it's yeah. talking about like Trivial Pursuit. Yeah, it doesn't. So it doesn't feel incomplete the way yes. this book feels incomplete to me. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. like a moment in time. Yeah. Yeah. Snapshot. And that's a reference, uh, uh, incomplete reference guide. It's, right. it's very uh, general. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's cool. You should probably the people in the comments. I would love to see a Thundercats or Silverhawks book. Yes. But there are so many. Battle Beasts would be amazing. Mm-hmm. But to see the weapons and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to see in the comments people's opinions on what books, what should books we, we should Where's have. Yeah. We will we'll personally send those comments to Mark Belomo and you can <laughs> yes. contact Pixel Dan. And, uh, I even have a, a Japanese monster movie book, which is pretty cool. That is And it, this goes through a lot of the weird, like, you know, little... There's so, there's little so much. Little ephemera kind of Look stuff. Look at the little yep. guy. Oh. I had that remote control one as a kid. Wow. Is it, now, is this Toho? Is this uh, import? It's just kind of like Because you a little bit of everything. It gets... Yeah. It's when you start bit. getting to Godzilla, so much stuff. It's so cr- much. Crazy. So many people had the licensing. So many people did bootlegs. Yeah. I mean, oh, there's wow. just so much. But this one uh, was was fun to get because- uh, You know who knew a lot about that stuff? Rest Rob. in peace. Rob Bruce. Yeah. If I had any questions about- Kaiju. Little kaijus and monsters and Godzilla. Rubberman. Or marbles. Or marbles. I would, I would ask <laughs> Rob- <laughs> There's been a lot of loss in the two toy community lately. Yeah, it's been it's yeah, been really it's sad. Our, our friend uh, Patrick Titus That's at the comic book shop. Rob, not to end this on a yeah. Rob just passed away too. Yeah, big Rob. Did you yeah. know Rob? No. Uh, um, so Rob was really into wrestling. He actually was like a, into extreme wrestling, but he was a hell of a collector. And oh, he, okay. He um, before anybody else was into like the uh, knockoff wrestling prototype. Yeah, you know, I don't say knockoff, but like Remco wrestling. Yeah, Remco yeah. stuff. stuff. Yeah, Rob Roman. He was a good guy. Hmm. So that's like three collectors yeah. we've known yeah. and dealers and resellers. Boy, that's a bummer to talk Ba-dum-bum. about at the end of the thing. All right, guys. Just, Rob yeah. Bruce jumped into my head yeah, with no. that because no. Rob was and so knowledgeable with the – That's one of the things that's man. so great about people di- putting the time into documenting this stuff is so that information doesn't get lost, yeah. you know? Yeah, man. I mean, it's, we need the information. And I want to collect it. I don't want to look on the internet. I want yeah. to have a book. We've got literally. I want notes in my book. Yes. Yeah. I want to handwrite in my book. Um, we have so many of these books. I should have brought. I should have brought all of them. We we actually have shelves. We do. But books are heavy. They, they are. are. <laughs> they are. And gas is expensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the heavier the truck weighs, the more gas yeah. it costs to get here. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging on the peg with us and Farpoint Toys. Thanks for coming back. Always. Thank you. It's Make always sure a pleasure. You check out these guys. Um, you know, social media and and their YouTube channel. Barter Town is a show they do. Sundays at 5 o'clock Eastern every week. Yeah, Always entertaining. Live. Yeah. Always entertaining. And there's, some, there's some stuff up on our um, on our YouTube where we talk about stuff, but not to, not not to, to this, this awesome level. You <laughs> ground us. Yeah. Because yes. our, 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 when we sit and talk, it's usually like a live thing for like three hours. Yeah. It's you, a lot of tangents. <laughs> yes, it's a lot of tangents, man. So. Nobody to wrangle us. Nope. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I think Capcom does a great job when they're adding like collaboration characters. <laughs> I've never been able to extend this way. <laughs> oh god, I gotta get the helmet on. Oh god, oh god. Wait a minute, our guy's a bad guy the whole time. I just think it's crazy that I'm better at video games now than when I was like 16. That is how you fix all the problems with all these games. I feel like toy distribution is so different than it used to be. They re-sculpted over the chest. They gave him a flak jacket over it. I laugh when I see Among Us, but I'm not having fun inside. I'm just, <laughs> it's a reflex. No, you took my <laughs> Jordan! <laughs>